talk about what kind of dog do I pick should you pick to be a personal protection dog for a family or an individual whatever so it's very different than picking for police military backyard junkyard dog okay so we want something very specific when we're choosing to live in a home with a family and there's traffic, kids, friends, things of that, right? Real life. So the thing that we're looking for the most, okay? is yes i want drive i would like to see some good prey drive so the running away the chasing the sleeve, biting the sleeve on the guy as he's running away. All of this catching the pillow, catching the sleeve stuff is all prey drive, okay? A dog chasing its prey, its play item, its play stuff, okay? There's nothing serious, there's no aggression, no man aggression attached to these things, okay? So, this is why we're losing a lot of dogs, right? Where specifically sports, because almost all sports are mostly prey driven, which dictates breeders to breed prey drive to prey drive, <clears throat> lacking and forgetting about the defense drive because they're going by the sports, okay? And the sports dictating what kind of dog they want in the sport, okay? So this is why you see a lot of fanciness and all the strutting and, right? It looks really cool to the public. Um, the sport means a lot to certain people, okay? But, you're getting all the fanciness and all that stuff out of dogs who have very, very good prey drive. Okay, so to win in Schutzen or IGP or whatever you want to call it, you need great prey drive dogs, not defense drive, not real fight. They don't want that in the sport, okay? Or any of the sports, really. So you're getting weaker and weaker gene pools to pick from for real protection, okay? Problem with shepherds is that strictly they participate in shots in IGP, okay? And the sport is really, really prey-driven, okay? And... and Problem is also that most trainers and players don't realize that. There's no translation to real life in that protection or that fancy obedience that you're watching, okay? So, because the defense has really been taken out of the sport and not judging that anymore. So, 
it's getting harder and harder to find good working dogs that have good defense drive for true protection. All right, so the only way you can test for that is behind the scenes. Okay, you, you cannot see it in the sports. So the only way to know those dogs are really legit to be a police dog is behind the scenes. Have people fight with that dog for real. Not people he's known growing up, right? Have that dog tested. <laughs> So, here, for example, you're going to see from my breeder one of the shepherds being tested here with the bottles, with the jugs, right? Testing his courage, his nerves, was going to let go, and then slipping the suit and seeing the dog's reaction when the suit is off. Will he continue the fight and nastiness? when there's no equipment it's just the man against the dog with no identity to equipment So it's exactly what we want to see, right? It's perfect. This is a great job, okay, by these guys. Legitimately testing these dogs to see if they really have the temperament and the, the, the defensive hardness to fight for themselves, to take the fight to the person. Equipment or no equipment. Okay, especially no equipment. <laughs> All right, so that's how you test a dog to see if they really have that fight defense drive to protect in real life. All right, and again, you can only do this behind the scenes. All right, so my breeder is hardcore into the Shutton sport, but. He sells to police departments, he sells to military, he sells his dogs to all, you know, types of people, protection, personal protection. But behind the scenes, there's a testing process that goes on to make sure that the dogs have that true nasty to fight, okay? Or else they're worthless as a personal protection dog, police dog military dog okay so they need that true fight in their character all right so when i'm ordering my shepherds from my breeder he knows that's what i'm looking for i need those dogs who will fight okay but again not over the top not overly aggressive dangerous right enough just enough that they will fight when need be won't back down that they have the temperament okay and that is you know one of his dogs and his guys they're testing that dog okay and again that's the way you should do it it's a great job by these guys getting at that dog and testing that dog for his true courage see what he's got all right.
And that's a dog right there I'll buy in a heartbeat. I was going to buy him. <laughs> so that is what we want to see, okay? So fight drive, necessary, very important. Again, if the dog is strictly showing prey and only showing prey drive, can we pull it from the dogs? Most of the time we can, okay? And, and get some seriousness out of them and defense drive that they'll do the job, okay? But really we want that genetic nature that has that already so we can just take that and run with it instead of having to pull something that wasn't there naturally and take time to do that, okay? Because it takes time, it takes good skill to do, and then the dog has it, right? No problem. They're going to be just as good as the defensive dogs. But really, you just don't want to waste that time if you don't have to do it, okay? So when picking a personal protection dog, you want to see some good defense at a right amount, any, okay, before you buy that dog. So that is what I am looking for when I buy my dogs.